Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today, with the 1 for 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. Alright? 1 cross 4 D max, let's say. Alright. Now, from the name, it's clear that we have what? We have uh, the number of outputs that is n is equal to 2. So we know that m is equal to log to the base 2 of n which means log to the base 2 of 4 this is 4, n is 4, okay so I can write it in the powers of 2's log to the base 2 of 2 to the power 2 now 2 could become uh, brought down and, and now log 2 to the power 2 is 1 so I could say 2 into 1 which implies that the number of select lines are 2 I went through this very quickly because you know it from the rules of your mathematics, all right? So now let's say we draw the we draw the multiplexer. Uh, so what do we have? This is the single input line I. We have outputs one, two, three, and four. So why not Y one, Y two, and Y three? And select lines S naught and S1 and this is the 1 to 4 D max all right now what do we do we draw the truth table for it and how do we draw it uh, so we see from here I'd uh, say so we have we, 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 we see it over here the enable signal then we have S1 S naught and depending on that, we have Y0, Y1, Y2, and Y3. Alright. Now, if your enable is 0, so no matter what your S1 and S0 be, the output will be 0. The output will be 0. Okay? Now, if uh, the enable is 1, the enable is 1, so you have four different combinations then for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. This is when the enable is 1. And the enable states what? It, it, it gives you the circuit that the circuit is working, alright? Uh, I said earlier also that this is uh, like a power button to the multiplexer, alright? Okay, now uh, uh, in this case D multiplex. Okay, now if you have a zero zero, so you know that uh, the uh, the 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 input would go to the Y naught. All right, if S one and S naught both are zero, so the input will go at the Y naught output. If we have S one zero and S naught one, so zero one will say Y one. And then if you have S11 and it's not 0, so the input will be directed to the Y2 input, uh, output, sorry. And then if you have both of the select lines as 1, so the input will be directed to Y3 output, all right? And the rest of them would be zeros. All right, I hope you understand these basics. All right, now what do you do? You write down the expressions for it, okay? So let's say I write them down here for y naught, let's say first. So y naught is one over here. We have an E, S1 complement, S naught complement I. All right, then for, for y1, we have E, uh, S1 complement, S0 for I, all right? For Y2, you have E, S1, S0 complement I, and for Y3, you have E, S1, S0 I. All right, I believe it's clear. So now we draw what? We draw the logical diagram for it. Okay, so I believe this is enough space or 
or yes, this is enough space, okay? So let's say we have S1. Where is the black? Okay, here. We have S1 over here. Let's say this is your S1. This is your S1. And then we need its complement also. So let's say the blue color represents its complement. So this is S1's complement. Then you have S0. So let's say the uh, red color is S0. And then you also need its complement, which means let's say I give it to the green color uh, NOT gate. So this is S0 complement. And uh, finally, you have an I that is the input. Or oh, let me draw it properly. So, this is your I. This one, okay? This is I. And we also have the enable. So, this is the enable signal, let's say. Okay, uh, and now what do you need? You need AND gates, all right? Four input AND gates and four of them. Okay, so let's say this is the first, this is the second, the third, and the fourth. Now to the first, what is given? It's E S1 complement. Wait a minute, I will open these markers first. I, I suggest you also use this sort of colors. And if you have more, so that is very good, okay? So you need to give it the enable signal, which is the blue signal. So I've given it the enable signal, let's say from here. Uh, then we have an S1 complement, which is blue again. Oh, uh, this is not good now if you have more colors. So try to do it, okay? Then you have a snot complement, which is in the green color. And then you have the input I, which is in the black color. So over here, you get a what? You get a Y naught over here. Okay? Now for Y1, you have the, the enable signal E. You have S1 complement, which is with the blue color again. And then you have S0 and I. So S0 is with the red color. And I with the black. Over here now we will have a Y1. All right, you can practically implement this in your labs, all right? Now, if you have Y2, so you have an E over here. This blue finally is the E. Then you have S1, which is with the black color. This black color, okay? Okay, this is S1. Then we have S0 complement, which is with the green color. This one. And you have the input I, which is with the black color again. So over here you will have the Y2, okay? And then when with Y3, what do you have? You have first the enable, that is common in all, yes. Then you have S1, S0, and I. So S1 is with the black color. S0 is with the red color. And I is again with the black color. So finally you have y, Y3 over here, okay? So that's all about it. That's all about the one cross 4D multiplexer. And that's all for today as well. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.